Shall we celebrate something fantastic? Mm. Imagine running 268 miles, the whole of the Pennine Way, in just four days. Well, that's what Jasmine Paris has done, becoming not only the first woman to win that brutal race, but also smashing the previous course record by more than 12 hours. We will be speaking to her in just a moment. First, though, take a look at the amazing journey, and there's some flash photography coming up as well. It's going to be a beautiful day, but it'll probably be really windy and cold. It's probably going to feel hard. I just get on and chip away at it. with her baby and Jasmine joins us now from Edinburgh just about what an hour from where you finished recently Jasmine congratulations first of all how do you feel um yeah I feel feel really great yeah physically how are your feet how are your thighs um my feet are definitely um a, a little bit sore um but they've come through surprisingly well actually Jasmine, take me through your mindset during this race because when you began was it your intention to one win and two smash the record. Um, I think I was I was going out to be competitive. I thought there was um, a chance that I could win the race. Um, I think the record depends massively on the conditions. So with the winter race, it's massively dependent on the weather and so on. So, um, but yeah, I was I was keen to to give it my best shot. Okay, well, I'm not going to allow you to underplay what you've just done. You say it depended massively on the conditions. The conditions were brutal, Jasmine. Mm. We've seen the pictures. I mean, some glorious pictures as well. But it was cold. It was tough. How did you prepare for this race? Um, so I did, um, I did lots of long, long runs, often mainly in the dark, actually, um, getting up at 4 a.m. Um, and training in the dark and um, carrying my full pack. So long days over Christmas and New Year, um, training in the hills. So um, it's ma mainly sort of, um, yeah, and, and in winter conditions. So that's kind of important. Um, okay, uh, you're you're also uh, you have a full time job. You you work as a vet. You're um, a full time parent as well. You have a baby girl. Um, how have you managed to um, get fit all the training in and keep life going all around you? Yeah, it's it's been really tough. I think the more sometimes I think the more you have to do, the better you get at managing your time. And also, if you really want to do something, then you sort of make things fit. But a lot of the running has taken place really early in the morning, so um, that's kind of the way I squeeze it in and then still balance it with spending time with my daughter. And so that's kind of what I've I've done. And also, we were quite an outdoorsy family, so some things can you know lots of long hikes with the baby in the rucksack. Um, that's good good weight training as well. Start them young, that's what they say, don't they? <laughs> okay, so if you could just not be modest, just for the next 30 seconds, <laughs> tell me how tough this race is, because it's, what, 268 miles, it's not flat, it's, it's tough, and the weather is pretty brutal. How tough is it? On a scale of 1 to 10, and would you do it again? Um, right now, whether I would do it again, I may be more of a sort of maybe. Last night I was very much probably no. Um, it is it is really tough. And um, I mean, you're running two thirds of the time is it's dark. Um, you have it's a completely different race than 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 most than any race I've ever run before because it's non-stop. So you have the whole challenge of when do you sleep, and that becomes very tactical. And then you're sleep deprived. So yesterday, when I was on the final section, I could see um, I kept seeing animals appearing out of every rock, um, and I kept forgetting what I was doing. So I was walking along the Cheviots on the on the Pennine Way along the Cheviots, and every so often I'd sort of come to with a start and think. 
what am I doing here? And then I'd remember I'm walking the Pennine Way. I say walking because by yesterday afternoon there wasn't that much running going on anymore. Yeah. So, you know, uh, hallucinations and, and, all, and, and, and then on top of that, it's very cold. So I was wearing all of my clothes by the time I finished yesterday. So it, it was pretty tough. And, um, on, you know, in the dark when it's raining and um, you've got horizontal wind um, and rain, then you can't see anything very, you know, you've got your head torch. Um, shining out yeah. the, the light, so, so, yeah. Jasmine, I'm in awe, as I know many of our viewers will be as well, um, and you are amazing. Congratulations, record breaker, Jasmine Paris, winner as well of one of the world's toughest endurance races, the Pennine Way National Trail. You dominated it. Congratulations mm -hmm. and thanks for talking to us thanks this morning. So